So how does it feel to have your first UFC, official UFC win? Well, you know what? This is my UFC debut. Uh, I fought the tough finale, 10 days notice. I wouldn't count that as a, a, a UFC debut. It was at a weight class above me. But this is my UFC debut at 170 pounds. And, and man, it feels, it feels pretty good. It feels pretty good. Does this moment feel like you thought it, it would? I'm sure you've imagined this moment over and over. Does it live up to the hype? Uh, you know, it feels really good, like, like I said. But uh, I just know there's a lot more work to be done. I feel like I went in there and I, I showed a lot. Uh, I showed a lot of good things. I showed a lot of bad, a couple bad things, but uh, we can only go up from here, you know. I'm really focused. I'm really just blessed to be here in, in this environment at the, here at the UFC Apex, and uh, I can't wait to show some more, some more of the, the RGV bad boy. What do you take away from this performance? You said there were some bad and some good. What were the, the highlights of, of your performance and maybe some of the low points? I'd say, I'd say the high points are probably, you know, like listening to my coaches, you know, staying calm. Uh, just doing, doing, the, doing the, uh, the right things that we've been drilling in practice, the stuff we did in the pre-fight warm-up, you know, uh, uh, sticking to the game plan, you know what I mean? And the game plan was to, 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 to fight my fight, to dictate the fight, and, and that's, I feel like that's what I did. And, and as far as the takeaways, I would say uh, uh, I seen weakness in the first round. I'm pretty sure I could have finished him in the first round, but I was going into that patient role where I had to, like, you know, calm myself a bit. And, you know... Uh, when you smell blood, you want, you want to go for the kill, you know, but, uh, you know, I can say it's bad, I can say it's good, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be up here talking to you guys right now. And when you thought about this particular fight, did you expect to be able to get in and out of there pretty quickly, or were you expecting to have to go three rounds with him? Hey, que onda, carnales? Those are my boys right there. Team Urbina, ya sabes. Hey, uh, uh, so, I'm sorry, the question again. <laughs> my boys got me hyped. Let's go. Fierro. I was just wondering if you saw this fight ending, being able to finish this fight quickly, or did you see going three rounds? You know, I expected my opponent to come out even harder. So, like, anybody that wants to come out and, and fucking bang in the first round, be ready to die in the first round, too, because I, I, uh, I envision myself dying in there every time, you know. I envision myself losing, and, and, and I know the feeling of, of a loss, you know. So I, I leave it all on the line, and, and uh, yeah, so I could, I could envision a war. I could envision a first-round finish. I, I envisioned it all, man. I was in there. I was focused. I could see everything. And what about your opponent missing weight? What were your thoughts when you saw that? You know, I seen, uh, uh, well, I didn't really watch too many of the interviews outside of, uh, of your guys' interviews, ESPN and stuff like that. But uh, um, what I can say is that uh, my boys, my bros my, and my coach, they were my dad. Everybody was tuning into what he had to say weeks leading up to the fight. And he had a lot of things to say, you know. And you got to be careful when you, when you talk, talk about me, when you talk about my game. Uh, you know, it's just, we can all talk about everybody else, you know, but at the end of the day, focus on yourself and, and, and that'll play out better. Did that give you some extra motivation? Do you like having somebody that talks a little bit of trash before the fight or would you prefer to go in there and have respect? Hey, well, where I come from, people talk the most shit down South Texas. So, you know what, everybody, all the haters, all the lovers, hey, we're right here. Nice to see you guys. And what's next for you? When would you like to get back in there and do you have an opponent in mind? Uh, anybody in the welterweight division now, you guys see that I'm down here at 170 pounds. I'm hungry. Uh, I'm capturing, I'm capturing souls now. We're out here, we're out here in the apex just doing what we do, we, what we love. I love these little, these little, uh, uh, these little shows. Last time Mario Lopez shouted me out, he's like, hey, Urbina, I lost. He still said, hey, good fight, Urbina. Steve-O tonight, he said he wanted to smoke some gelato. I got some gelato for Steve-O. All these, all these guys out here, they're showing love and, and, you know, I'll show love back. Anybody want to smoke some gelato out back right now after this interview? We're going to be burning down, baby. Let's go. Gilbert, felicidades con el triunfo. Hey, gracias. Uh, lo explicaste en, en inglés, pero si quieres en español sobre tu desempeño, qué bien te sentiste en la jaula, uh, el triunfo por knockout. Sí, pues me, sent, me, sent, me sentió bien, muy bien, muy, muy bien relajado. Uh, pues ahí ando con el gelato bien relajado. Uh, pues... Uh, me, me, me metí eso en mi, en mi cabeza pues, cuando, cuando estu, estuvo en el octagon y pues, uh, pues la ganada, ya, ya sabes. Estabas diciendo que podías haber finalizado en el primer asalto. Sí. ¿Qué viste o qué te dijo tu equipo que estabas listo para ya poder? Porque estaban gritando, mátalo, mátalo. Sí, sí, pues, pues el primer chingazo que, que lo di era un gancho y, y, y ya, mero, ya mero lo chingué, lo chingué en, la, en la first round, pero... Uh, pues, pues mis coches y mis hermanos me, me, me dijeron, ya, yeah, pues chingalo, pero, pero te, te, necesitas tener uh, un paciencia adentro, you know. Uh, uh, ten, pues 
estaba bien enfocado, sí, sí, uh, por eso uh, tomé mi tiempo y, y, y pues con chingazos, ya sabes. Nos contaste que tu, último pelea, o sea, tu última pelea no era necesariamente la mejor versión de ti. ¿Pudiste enseñarnos todo o, o cómo te sentiste con tus round y medio que nos diste esta noche? Obviamente te viste mucho mejor, pero pudiste usar todas tus... Um, lo que preparaste y, y no pudiste usar la última pelea esta. ¿Pudimos ver esto? O sea, 100% de tu actuación o todavía queda más que nos puedes enseñar uh, to, to vas, to, uh, todavía uh, tengo más tengo más en, 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 la, en la gasolina en, la, en el tanque uh, pues uh, cre creo creo que voy a pelear muy pronto uh, pues todavía todavía creo que uh, necesito unos unas semanas para pa descansarme ya pero pero uh, pues así, así es así es Finalmente, para mí felicidades por el triunfo que no hay ninguna lesión, te viste bien, o sea, que pronto te vemos regresar en la jaula o quieres descansar para el verano, ¿cuándo regresamos? ¿Cuándo te vemos pelear en otra vez? Pues vamos a hablar con, con, mis, uh, con mis coaches, con mis hermanos, uh, uh, vamos, vamos a, a, a regresar al campo, en Monday vamos, vamos a entrenar un poquito, un poquito, nomás, nomás des, ven, des, ven despacio y, y pues uh, muy pronto, creo que muy pronto, mejor, mejor este summer, vamos, vamos a pelear otra vez. Felicidades y gracias por ti. Hey, muchas gracias. Saludos a México, toda mi familia, ya sabes, fierro.